Hello everyone, so I've had a request on how to do um, a waterfall effect within Unreal Engine 5. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create what you can see in front of you right now, which is this. Um, so this is basically just the Niagara particle system, which is relatively easy to make um, so all you do so let's delete this um, I'm assuming you already have some kind of a waterfall set up in your game so we go to let's create a particle effect first thing we're going to do is click on the Niagara system um, so we're going to add that in we're going to select this top one, new system from selected emitters, and then we want <coughs> fountain, and then click the plus button, and we finish. Let's rename this waterfall, I'll just name test one, and I'm going to open that up, let me just open the other screen, uh, this one, and get that onto the screen so you can see. So in here we've got two nodes um, and the sprite render is the lowest impact on game performance. So we're going to turn this into what you saw before. So the first thing we're going to do, <coughs> um, let's add it into the game so we can see what that looks like. So very simple fountain effect firework or a sprinkler so we're going to turn that into that waterfall so we're going to change the shape location to um, box plane and then we're going to change box to plane so it's on a single axis single point in the <coughs> in the world origin and set that to 500 set the y to zero and then the next thing we're going to do is put a drag on of one and then we're going to click the plus button and particle update and then add a collision <coughs> which is this one and then we're going to add in a we reduce our velocity from 500 to 100 to 200 on the minimum maximum and then on our sprite renderer, not on our sprite renderer, on our initialize particle option, we're going to drop the size down to 2 and 10, the lifetime from 1 to 3. And then we can. Which one is it we're after? So then if we go into our game, we'll notice now we have a waterfall effect. So to change that, we're going to go to our spawn rate. So you go back into your <coughs> Niagara system. You're going to click on the spawn rate, which is here. Uh, let's increase that value to, let's say, uh, 3,000. then if we go back into our level we can see that we've got mm, a snow blizzard and we need to bring that in position and it should interact because it's got collision with the stones and rock so there's a few things we can change now so once again back into our emitter properties and on here, go to collision, and we put friction to one, because water does have a slight friction when it hits the surface. We want to reduce the bounce to 0.1, because water doesn't bounce that much. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And let's test that now, let's minimize that. So you can see it's starting to take effect. So let's bring that 
behind slightly. Let's forward a little bit. Let's see where that is in the world. Okay, so let's open that back up. Um, now in here, let's increase that value to 5,000. And then let's test that again. <coughs> okay, so it's starting to take effect. Um, and we'll can drop, let's say, the color. So initialize particle. Drop that color, the shade down slightly less. That's better. And then we can. Wonder which one it is. Okay, set that to zero. And set the drag to two. Okay. And here we go. So with it being a sprite, um, if you set it to fixed bounds, whenever you look away, it will de-render. Um, if you want it to be visible all the time, you have to set it, leave it as a default CPU with no fixed bounds, uh, which is here. So it's currently set to a CPU simulation. Um, if you change that to GP, you see graphics cards compute in the simulation. Uh, you'd have to set it to a fixed bounds, which is this one. And what that means is, is that it will use less performance, but it means that when you look away, it will de-render the sprites. So if it's going to be something that's going to be quite far from the player, I recommend having it that way because there's no point rendering something if you can't see it <clears throat> but if it's going to be something that the player is going to see all the time um, then I would definitely say keep it as a CPU sim and have it as dynamic so when you look away it doesn't de-render the sprites um, but yeah, you can play around with this. You can just keep it increasing the amount. Uh, you can adjust the position. You can bring the stones out more or hold alt and drag in an another one, a separate one. Have it slightly lower down. You know, no limits. However you want to set it up. But I hope that helps anyway. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.